So today I'm going to be summarizing the hypothyroidism management from the NICE CKS website. Um, so you have a patient who you've diagnosed with hypothyroidism and you're wondering how do I manage how do I manage that? So you firstly ensure that the patient doesn't have any life threatening complications such as mixed edema coma. If they do, send them straight to A and E. If that's ruled out, then check that they don't have any reason that you want to refer them to an endocrinologist such as secondary hypothyroidism or if they're a female planning pregnancy or if they've got atypical weird and wonderful TFTs or if it's secondary to any drugs such as lithium or amiodarone. If that's all been ruled out then um, you can try to manage them in primary care. So if the patient is less than 65 years old and has no history of cardiovascular disease then you start them on 1.6 micrograms per kilogram per day of levothyroxine rounded to the nearest 25 micrograms if they're over 65 or have a history of cardiovascular disease you want to start the patient on only 25 to 50 micrograms per day levothyroxine and you want to adjust this in steps of 25 micrograms every four weeks so the aim is basically resolution of signs and symptoms and normal thyroid function tests once the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH levels have become stable which NICE defines as two similar normal readings three months apart you can check the TSH annually once the sta the levels are also are stable you can also recheck the patient's lipids if there was some abnormality there because as we know hypothyroidism is a cause of deranged lipids if they've improved all well and good if not then it probably wasn't the hypothyroidism causing it. Start them on some lip lipid management. With the levothyroxine, um, NICE and BNF both recommend that you take it on an empty stomach in the morning about 30 to 60 minutes before any other food or medication. That'll just prevent any interactions. As there's quite a lot of things that interact with levothyroxine, such as calcium, iron, different foods, caffeine, um, grapefruit, lots of things. So this is um, advice that should be given to every single patient. 